Let's do it. So back on the Malvern Hills this morning in search of another landscape. I was up here before sunrise, but unfortunately the sunrise wasn't that great due to the sun not being able to penetrate the cloud cover. But I have hung around because the sun is now starting to come in and out of the clouds. And I'm just wondering if I can capture a nice black and white panorama. Let's see if we can get one. be a little bit frustrating photographing in these conditions when the sun is rapidly moving in and out of the clouds you're constantly waiting for the light but you just have to hang in there and hope for the best and you will get the shot Right, I've been trying to capture this scene for a little while now, but it's not really happening. Uh, I think I'm too wide. I've got my 20mm AIS lens, I'm shooting at f11, ISO 100, just daylight balance, and I've just been like shooting the panorama, two row panorama, and I'm trying to be focus stacking that as well, but the light really isn't materialising for me, so I'm probably going to put the long lens on now and try and get a bit more compression on the landscape and try and pick some things out. Actually, over to the west, behind me, over to my right here, there's a lot of rain coming in um, across Herefordshire and it's looking amazing. It's um, isolated rain. So what I'm going to try and do is put the long lens on and uh, really reach into the landscape and try and get some landscapes that way. So I've got the long lens on the camera now and I've actually re-leveled this tripod because I took the panorama bracket off and I've got the lens set to about 105 millimeters and I'm like just gently making a panorama with the with the long lens and bringing that compression in. It's, a bit, it's really difficult today because it's so changeable the weather, the sun is in and then it's really overcast and then it's raining and the clouds are just not quite right at the moment and, but what I'm trying to do is capture the, the foreground the best I can with the sun on it. Um, and then what I'll be doing is trying to capture the sky as well. I'm not sure this is actually going to be a black and white shot in the end because it might look really nice in colour, but we'll see. We'll see what we get when we get back. Uh, anyway, I'm going to keep keep shooting through this sun whilst I've got it and uh, hopefully, hopefully produce a nice image. So I've been shooting this landscape for a little while on the long lens. At 105 millimeters, it gives me about 152 millimeter equivalent, which is a lovely reach and compression into the landscape. It's actually been quite tricky this morning because the sun has rapidly been coming in and out of the clouds and I haven't really been getting the light that I really, really want on the landscape and in the sky. But I think I've got what I need in the can. And now I think it's time to uh, pack up the gear and get off this hill. Hey, if you enjoyed that video, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon. I try to release a video each week and I would love for you to join me. Also, don't be afraid to get involved in the comments below and I'll answer as many questions as I can. Until next time, catch you later.